audio headset. Excellent. Okay. Mike, good to meet you, Matt. Good, good to meet you, too. Good to meet you, too. Do you want me to clip it that side? That might be an issue. Yeah, that might be all right. Clip me up. At least I can... You'll have, yeah, be yeah, able to caption it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah really good to meet you. Good um, to meet you, too. Excellent YouTube videos. Thank you. Uh, love you watching the series. Bass guitar at the minute. Yes. What yeah. Are we on episode four? Episode four uh, at the moment. So, so I think I've just radius, fret? just radius yeah. the fretboard on that, which was the most terrifying thing. Like just, I've never done it before. Well, I kind of have, but not properly. Yes, because this isn't your first. No, I've did one there. in my second year of woodworking. Yeah. Um, but I didn't really know what I was looking for at that point. I didn't really know what could go wrong with it. So I kind of just did things and then hope for the best at the end of it. Now I've kind of, after all this training, I've gone back to it. I'm overthinking so many bits of it yeah, and it's yeah. slowing me down. But yeah, we got it done. We got yeah. it done. So. Have you finished the build or, have you, or are you still in process? No, still halfway still, through. Still so halfway got, through. So you've not filmed it and this is back up and you just... No, no it's still so halfway no through. you have no idea what the end product's going to look no like. No idea. No. Oh, let's break release that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just some sort of rough render I've got on SketchUp yeah. at the moment. So right. uh, yeah. Excellent. Um, let's go back to where you started, where, where you came from. Uh, you're from Oxfordshire? Uh, well, so I'm actually Down from Basingstoke originally. Um, so in my GCSEs, we studied resistant materials. Yeah. Um, and we had a bespoke box maker come in just to help out. And none of us knew what he did to start with. He was just this mysterious guy walking around. He was hench as well, huge. And um, one day he just bought in this bespoke box and made of Macassar ebony, all in Art Deco style. It was worth about six thousand pounds, I think, just for this jewelry box. Yeah. And from that moment, I've always been crafty, but I didn't realise that woodworking could go to that level of precision and that yeah. level of finesse. So as soon as I saw that, I was hooked instantly. I was signed up to do astronomy, history, English, and some other rubbish at my local um, college. And three months before that was due to start, dropped out, found a furniture school in Oxford and did that. Yep. So three, well, two years uh, A-level equivalent, then three years degree there. So you spent five, so you spent five, five years training to, to yep. on the book, so yep. it kind of comes across that you know your, you know your stuff. <laughs> it was it's, good there, yeah. it was really good. It's, the nice thing about a school environment is it allows you to experiment with a lot of things. Like yep. you didn't have the stress of having to sell or find clients. You could just go there, find your own style and do what you wanted. I don't think I've found my own style yet, but it's just given me a chance to just mess around, really, yeah. and just have well, a play. Some of your, some of your, your work, the, some of your projects that I've seen, you mm -hmm. do, the, the Krekhoff, is that? Krenov. Krenov. Krenov cabinet, I yeah. I mean, that, that cabinet's unbelievable. They've been yeah, yeah. detailing, you've done all that, so you're incorporating different things. Yeah, oh, that, well. that was the first one I did, so that yeah. was um, Cognition, which was, yeah, that was the most terrifying project yeah, I've ever confused, seen in my yeah. life. So, um, yeah, that was... Yeah, very difficult. And yeah. then the Krenov cabinet was the one on legs. Right, yes. Um, and then, yeah, obviously the workbench after yeah. that as well. Um, so what, what, you must have a couple of big projects, a couple of ideal projects in your head for the future. Maybe Coming not, up? You know, um, no. Maybe I, not for the tube. I mean, you must have, do you know what, I really want to build something. Have you got anything like that? Not you know? as such a project. What? Because my current situation is I only have this workshop until August. And I'm meant to be somehow sorting out a workshop from September onwards. If I get a house at that point, I would like to do an entire, not an entire house renovation sort of thing, but fit, do like a big ongoing project where I'm making furniture for all the rooms, um, kitting out the workshop and just do more shop projects because yeah. I've never, this workshop that I've got at the moment is sponsored to me by Rikerwood. So although it's mine, it's not mine. So I, yeah, if I get a proper workshop, that's going to be my sole purpose from there, making it functional, making it more me, and um, yeah, then have a look and see where it goes from there. Where do you, um, also, where do you think your balance is going to be? Because at the moment you're just doing a lot of YouTube and a lot of builds and people got the pokey pokey in the, <laughs> poke in the ash. Oh, the poke in they the are ash, an absolute Which look like an ass. absolute nightmare, I can't yeah. believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah they you, are. still persevering. <laughs> I, 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 those have stopped for the time being, they're on yeah. hold. Um, yeah. I've seen one finish complete one. I mean, yeah, they're, they're know, all finished. There's three of them finished. Three of them finished, yeah. Um, but the trouble is a pin board should cost, I don't know, maximum £15, really. If these you are, buy from Ikea, yeah. If you a, buy from yeah. Ikea. But then, like, these ones, they, I don't know. It's one of those things. It's really fun to make. It looks nice. As a viable business model or something that I can sell, we'll have to see. Like, I don't know. Sell the first three go. Yeah. 
you know, John Makepeace can make all these chairs and sell them for fifty thousand pounds. You know, maybe it'll be the same sort of thing. Yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. So yeah. And so, so you maybe YouTube. Have you got any project? Have you got? I mean, I know you work at Axminster a couple yep. of days a week as well. Yep. Uh, you teach. Mm -hmm. um, how do you see yourself develop? Do you see yourself kind of a bit like? You know, Paul Sellers doing the, the teaching, having the school yep. thing going on, and then having a YouTube alongside, or you did, or are you going to go more kind of actually want to make stuff to build and sell and commission pieces as well, or, or you just on the side and just yeah, I mean, I've always been very run and gun with it, so yep. I just go like I started this as a hobby. I've always filmed things throughout my life, so I did um, skateboarding videos when I was younger, I did Jackass style videos when I was younger, um, gaming videos. Uh, are they on YouTube? The jackass, really the, jackass to, going, right, the jackass okay. ones are. The jackass ones are. If you want to um, go and check out, yeah, jackass man. I'm not going to say <laughs> the uh, the address for it because it could be quite compromising, but we'll see. Um, I'm sure it will get found if this goes. Yeah, in. I might not put this out for you. I'm, nah, I'm that's happy fine. So. It's fine. Right. I think I've said it in one of my videos before, so Fair it's not good. Um, but yeah, I've always filmed stuff, so it's this is still kind of a hobby of mine. Although I am making money from YouTube and other little bits, it's still just a hobby. Yeah. So, well, the, the money you make off YouTube is not huge for the hours you put in. If you work out no, an hourly, no. right? It's ridiculous. Oh no, not yeah. at all. Not at all. But it's, um, yeah, because it's enjoyable. I don't see it as working. So yeah. I'm getting paid to do my hobby. Um, so as a result, this is the problem that I'm trying to sort out in the next year. I'm unorganised. I don't put as much effort into promotion, marketing, or it's not a business. It's just a hobby. Yeah. And it's just me documenting that hobby. And yeah. That's what I have to sort out. If I want to make this a full-time thing, then we've got to get a bit more organised. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. Um, also, recently you had your girlfriend Rosie yes. in one of your videos. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. It was very yeah. different. I've noticed your style. You'll do a set build with set pieces of video, a certain way you'll edit, film, and yeah. stuff, and then your next one you'll just oh, I'm going to experiment. I'm just going to play around with this and do yeah. something completely different. Yeah. Is that what that was? Just kind of. Yeah. Well, she has always wanted to where am I going to go with this we've always spoken about her being in a video yeah. somehow and over this summer we're looking at doing some projects together but so she, does she woodwork as well does she, she do doesn't things? no she no. does she's a very hands-on yeah. um, kind of girl she does a lot of embroidery and just little crafty bits yeah, yeah. Um, which is great and I actually had one of her embroideries behind me in my old workshop yeah had this like little thing that was in the background no one could really see what it was but yeah she just does little things like that and it's great um, but yeah, she. Um, where's it going with this? Where are we so you're gonna use her in the video and. Yes. So um, yeah, well, you use her to film the video and yeah. just do something different. The you trouble is, having a picnic together. And yeah. So in my workshop, it's norm. yeah, it's yeah. quite. Um, I'm gonna say lonely at times. Yeah. You know, on the camera, you come across as like you know all energy and everything, but when the camera's off, it's like ah okay. At the end of the day, just one man in one yeah, room. Yeah, you doing know, one it's thing, yeah. it's really nice to. Actually it's have not a very else. social job, is no, it, YouTube? No, it's not, no. And which is great about all these associations that are popping up because, I mean, well, woodworking, it's quite a solitary activity. But with the men's shed, you've got these maker spaces. Yeah. That's what's really great about them because they have all these like, big communities that people yeah. can take something that was originally a solitary activity in a lot of cases, but actually make it a community thing. Yeah. So that was what was really nice about having Rosie there is that I just had someone to bounce off and... Um, just have fun with, like mess around, and we had a laugh. Yeah, it was really good fun. I need to get her back. Need to yeah, get her back. No, I, I do. I, I think she uh, she did very well. And yeah. yeah, it came across as a really good video and different from from the norm, which I, which I like. So yeah, know, I'm actually really like jealous of Evan and Caitlin. You know those two, the yeah. uh, American. Uh, they are just absolutely bonkers, but they gel so well together. Yeah. Great to watch on camera. So you never yeah. know. You never no, know. No. You know. You could be having those no, no. subscribers. Yeah. And, uh, that kind of earnings <laughs> yeah. as well. You could. Rosie, if you're watching this. We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so, talking of uh, working with people, have you discussed working, doing a collaboration video with people, or yep, we, doing a special build? Or? So, I've obviously a lot of attention is focused on the guitar at the moment, yep. but there is collaboration works um, or collaborations in the works with a few people. Are we talking to people who are stand not a million miles away? Uh, no, none of or them ben? are here actually. No, 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 oh, no okay. not Ben Crow. No. No, um, I don't know if so you watched it. Did you say you stole some of your? Well, you did your, your uh, fretboard. You, it was his video you took it from. His advice. No, um, basically, I the top for this guitar. I had this idea I, after I made my first one, which had yeah. all these splits in it. I had 
as soon as I made that, I had an idea for a second guitar. Um, so I found this wood on eBay, bought it, and basically this design is what I'm doing now. It has all these copper pipes and stuff running through it. There's splits cut entirely through the body. Um, and yeah, it's just completely gnarly. So I thought of that about four years ago when I bought this wood. Now when I finally got around to making it, Ben's done it. He's already right. done it and yeah, he's yeah. done like in the style of, um, yeah, pretty much similar to what I was style. doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks great. He's yeah. got like, um, yeah, copper bars and stuff running through it. Very similar, to, not quite the same, but very similar to what yeah. I was imagining. Um, which is a shame, but it's good because I can see what it looks like as well. Yeah. And I really like it. And yeah, his videos help me out a lot yeah. as well. He's great. And he's yeah. just a gate presenter as well. Yeah. So, so yeah, uh, so is, you've got some collaboration coming up. Do you want to talk about that or do you want to keep it on the hat and the music uh, itself? On your no, account? I probably could. No, I could. Um, so we're looking at doing a jewellery box project, hopefully. Um, and that will be with Jonathan Katz Moses, uh, James Wright, and Will from um, WM Woodwork or something like that. WM. Will Walker is his name. Yeah, basically. Okay. So yeah, it's going to be us three. We're going to. Um, I'm going to start off with it, and we're going to make all the components, ship them out to one of them. They're going to. Yeah, it's basically going to be something. All that right. So you're going to make a bit and then pass yeah. it on. They're going to. So you exactly. don't know what the end product's going to be like. No. Well, uh, no, we do, right. but we're all doing different parts of it. Okay. So, um, and then we're going to auction it off and give the money to charity. Hopefully, Mark Spagnolo's woodworking fight, fighting cancer for charity. Uh, finally, just uh, any advice to new starting, because you, you've only been around about probably <laughs> properly 12 months, I'd say, yep. on YouTube. Anyone yep. just starting out and kind of trying to kickstart their yep. YouTube stardom, fame, search, career, whatever they're after on there, any yep. advice for them? It's never too late to start. That never, like, there's always, there's people starting now who are just absolutely, they'll be killing it in a year's time. Um, just be yourself on camera. I think for the first two years when I did it, um, I was in Rikerwood when I was filming. Yeah. And of course you did all the, all the videos, the, yeah. you, you builds while you were at uh, Yeah, you, but you, I wasn't able to present to the camera, so yeah. it doesn't show your personality, but just being able to have my own workshop and space <laughs> and just show who I am behind the camera. Just be yourself on the camera. That's all it is. People buy into personalities more than they do what you're actually doing. Um, yeah, just get started. If you want to do it, be yourself. Because, like I say, I've always filmed videos yeah. throughout every every hobby I've had. Always done it. As soon as I started woodworking in my first year at Rikerwood, five years ago, I thought I want to film this. Was too scared to do it for four years yeah. until I was in my second to last year and finally did it. I, I'm so. I regret so much not starting at the beginning because I would love to see that progression. Yeah. Um, even looking back, I don't know, just being able to look back at my workbench build. Occasionally I'll go back and watch that video just because it's, I don't know, it's just nice having stuff on camera and documented. Yeah. It's like having a diary. But yeah. well, you can see where you, you, what you do yeah. different now. And exactly, you, yeah. exactly. So yeah, it's, it's really nice to watch myself and the community as well, the people you meet. I wouldn't be here doing this. Um, I wouldn't know a lot of the people here. People come up to me and tell me like their stories and yeah, I've had a few guys today and it's just, it's so humbling or, hum yeah, it's just yeah. really nice. I think it's nice to come to a UK based makers yeah. event because this is the first one that's, yeah. that's been hosted. That's been really good. It's a nice chance to meet all the UK based workers. Because you see all the Jimmy Duresters about they're great, they yeah. do their thing. But we can't afford their tools, we can't afford their, their workshop their space, space yeah. and their, the wood they can get access to yeah. a lot cheaper than us. It's, you know, it's good to see a UK based yeah. kind of focus on. Yeah, uh, so it's just really nice to meet people here and yeah, it's just great. It's, it's turned out to be a really good show, yeah. really good. Yeah, excellent. Lovely speaking to you, Matt. Lovely speaking to you too. Thanks and so hopefully, much. Hopefully, uh, see you in the near future and uh, fingers crossed. I do hope that so. guitar and it'll look as good as uh, Fingers crossed. As you hope. Yeah, fingers yeah, crossed. Excellent. Cheers. Thank you <laughs> okay. very much. Cool.